Regina Leuven. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. We've heard some very uh, legitimate criticism of the bailout of General Motors. Uh, two potentially encouraging aspects of that bailout were the fact that GM committed to maintain its share of Canadian production and the Government of Canada gained an equity stake in GM. Unfortunately, that commitment to maintain a Canadian footprint expired last year. Uh, meanwhile, the federal government sold off its stake in General Motors to create the impression of a balanced budget. So I wonder if the member for London Fanshawe would agree that we might be in a better situation today if the government of Canada had negotiated a longer uh, commitment to Canada from GM or had at least maintained its equity position in the company so that it could influence management decisions on behalf of our Canadian workers. The Honourable Member for London Fanshawe. Uh, well, thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker, and uh, thank you to my colleague. And I did refer to this in my remarks, uh, the fact that um, uh, the Government of Canada should have made this commitment in regard to the uh, $10.8 billion, a much longer term requirement from General Motors. But most importantly is the equity stake that the people of Canada had in General Motors. That was leverage. That was an important uh, opportunity to be able to make uh, demands and dictate to General Motors. Uh, what a lovely thought to be able to uh, turn a corporation on its head instead of uh, being the one constantly spinning, trying to manage. So I believe it was a significant mistake for the government to sell off that equity because we could and would have been at the table. We would have been able to make those demands I spoke of.